And in Punjab, the Enforcement Directorate is now a key player in the current elections. And in Enforcement Directorate press release, they said that they found 10 crores, including part of it in cash on recent raids. Now, amongst the raids were those on the current Chief Minister's nephew. And ED sources say that 4 crores cash was found at his residence. The Punjab Chief Minister called a press conference saying this was a conspiracy to target him before the elections. But Arvind K. Jirwal immediately targeted him. It's these raids by the Enforcement Directorate against a nephew of the Punjab Chief Minister that drew a strong reaction from the CM, who, flanked by three cabinet ministers, accused the centre of taking revenge for the Prime Minister's security lapse. But in a statement, the Enforcement Directorate claimed that they had initiated investigation into an FIR of illegal mining registered four years ago. They said more than 10 crore in cash, gold worth more than 21 lakh and other items were seized. Sources say that 4 crore was seized from the residence of Mr. Chani's nephew. Tuesday's action was part of an ED investigation into the alleged role of two companies in the case. Chani's nephew is one of the three directors of the companies. The Aam Aadmi Party, considered the Congress's main rival, said Chani is not an Aam Aadmi but a corrupt man. If Charanjit Singh Chani is in one day, पांच साल पंजाब सूबे के मुख्यमंत्री रहे या रहे होते तो कितनी बेशुमार दौलत वो भ्रष्टाचार करके कमा सकते थे। In response, the chief minister claimed that the enforcement directorate had also arrested one of Kejriwal's relatives for money laundering. Kejriwal ने कल परसों एक आये थे बड़ा खुश हो गए थे कि साढ़े टीवी आई है पंजाब में जी ये दिन में दाजे का छापे में जी इन आधे Having once faced raids by the Enforcement Directorate, the Aam Aadmi Party seems to be backing the recent raid on Chief Minister Chani's nephew, while the Congress has been calling it vendetta politics by the BJP-led central government. With Mohammad Ghazali in Chandigarh, Bureau Report, NDTV.